Two of the world's biggest economies, the United States and China, are struggling. Business activity in Shanghai was brought to a standstill for weeks. Disastrous. Uh, I think there is no other word for it. Over the last few weeks there has been there was a lot of talk about China's failure. The economy ends their $7 trillion housing market and the impact that is going to be felt. Rest of the world, how tightly do they outline their markets? Was going to be impressed but I have too says the more I researched realized that there are some. Rather, it has serious global implications there is no negotiation and it is worth it. Get your attention because it is already starting to happen for Europe. The example is beginning to appear before you. A complete shutdown of oil as their dollar falls to its lowest level in 20 years. Global inflation is at its highest. It has been in a tight monetary policy for decades. There is a threat of global recession. And times in the words of Ray Dalio, it will be completely different from the next one, which we have experienced, a lifetime of trying to break it. Get the truth about what's more below really going let's talk exactly. What is the meaning of what is happening? The entire economy should be like this. Bad as people say it's going to be and what can you do about it to make money? Or, or alternatively I guess not to lose. Money depends on how you look at it. Before we get started though, if you appreciate unbiased research, this is what goes into making a video. If you will help me a lot, hit the like button or if you subscribe, didn't already do that. It only takes a split second it's complete free you can always change your mind. So there you have it when it comes to global recession. To understand why this is so, or in other words, who is to blame? Cause we have the term globalization. See nevertheless in each country. For the currency and supply of your economy goods and services are created over time. Maximize profits to increase them overseas services and attach themselves. What they are doing for this country. Business with it allows them to get. Competitive advantage on the manufacturing side buying cost effective materials abroad. And gaining access to brand new ones for example demographics to increase profits. It accounts for more than half of Facebook's revenue. 67% of Apple's business overseas produced outside of the US and even. Tesla is collecting 25%. Revenue from China alone is not. Without a bit of a catch on one side this allows for the creation of new jobs. Innovative ideas and high quality not to live in the whole world. Mention if it were not for outsourcing. It is estimated that the cost of the US. The iPhone will be $600 more. And clothes were sold for two or four. However times their current retail price the downside is that since we are like that. Are fully connected. The economic crisis of the world. A country can create a domino effect. Across the other across the other. And another and another until we all see a global recession as we begin. Today to see what's happening and how will this affect you all. Well seeing that it's not just one country. Or an event that is alleged but instead of. So many factors that make everything happen. At the same time and first we should also talk about the Russia-Ukraine war it's an incredibly complicated one though. Situation in the aftermath of a global invasion a sudden rise in commodity prices. As was oil and gas production. In addition, there were exports of other commodities also we'd affected including nickel and aluminum, of which Russia is a big one. The producer's influence is even greater. Although with Reuters to say that more than 90% of American semiconductor grade neon. Supply comes from Ukraine while 35 a percentage of US palladium is derived from it. Russia means computer chip and semiconductor production has leveled off. More stress after all those chips connected to everything from cars. Computers phones video games electronics solar panels are basically anything. A computer is partly to blame. For so many skyrocketing expenses. Items that we use on a daily basis. Second highest inflation of course. Makes up a large portion of all gasoline consumer price index and if oil. International continues to rise. Stress that is reflected in us. Inflation own numbers and inflation the same applies to the whole world. The lack of chips coming from Russia and Ukraine with used car prices a. Excellent example of year over year value the number of vehicles has increased by about 40. Percentage due to labor materials and supplies chain barriers but such as they were. They started coming down and went back up. And finally the third we have more. 
Interest rates in an effort to fight the United States increased its inflation. Interest rates at a slightly faster pace for another reason than the rest of the world. Countries keep these US dollars as one a safe deposit of value however like the US. Increased demand for the dollar it became more expensive for others. Countries trade in these dollars, forcing them to print more of their own. Currency to pay for these items high demand leads to high costs. Due to high US dollar inflation is just one piece. Puzzle and next is a topic, which has been gaining a lot lately. Krishna and China will be what they are. One of the largest economies in the world. Responsible for 20% of manufacturing of the items that we all use every day. And during the acute threat of complete financial disaster now though we can definitely refer to limited policies on questionable business practices and lack of regulation are three the main factors that a global slowdown first zero effect the coveted policy is quite literal. That means there is zero tolerance for it. The spread of COVID to this point. China will impose strict lockdown, maintain strict discipline and do anything in their power to stop them by affecting population but e.g. As a result, their economy is expected. Ku's land production is slowing down. The supply chain continues below has been severely affected by the backlog of shipping and their development is now expected to be non-existent but if it's not so bad that we have seconds fueled by the real estate market excessive speculation false promises etc almost no supervision many of the largest real estate developers in china have excluding citizens filed for bankruptcy withholding for yourself as well as the mortgage boycott across the country although it started with property the giant ever grant is more than 300 billion dollars in debt within 4 one about 320 projects over the week hundreds of cities were facing the same the protests rocked the markets coral banks and the authorities developers still to reduce unrest although there is no direct relationship to the u.s housing market there are tuitions in many major institutes increased its investment in china in the last 10 years and china worth about a trillion dollars u.s treasuries if they collect to sell they ask for money for their economy will fall for these treasures enough and finally we have the third recommended production of the new york post that china is likely to slow down exports will decrease as a result of the united states of america lower product sales demand and a further slowdown across the globe economy it has also been noted that china will that's far less than covering your annuity economic development goal five and a half a percent and we're starting very soon realize that days china's climate economic boom is long the past however in terms of what we are dealing with today and how it can happen we are headed for a global recession talk about what's happening right now in terms of what is happening now inflation is a huge problem all around all over the world with many countries a double digit increase is seen year on year the year that resulted in households pay more for the goods services mean less money left over paying for all other driving lower demand growth and production are faster than anyone can imagine two examples of europe's largest economy germany and italy already are signs of recession began to appear it has also been found to be a downward trend already as bad as the 2008 crisis and this data doesn't reflect that yet the current increase in energy prices which is more pressure is expected both people and businesses as a result the value of the euro fell u.s dollar value for the first time in 20 years with this fear international pension will cause further increase in commodity prices and demand is now falling even further in terms it is said about the united states of america since 1955 the u.s economy has always been in two years the recession hit from each quarter in which inflation unemployment was over four percent it was less than 5% as it is today. So in terms of what that means for you, your money and the global economy are here. What you really need to know. An oversimplified scale is easy to see. How can a declining economy affect the economy? While increasing the demand for the other at the expense of others and causing a cascade. Impact on the rest of the world this results in high energy costs. Resulting in higher inflation a higher interest rate that lowers. Demand that drives the supply chain. Shocks and before you know it we are in one.
Global recession is not a rocket to me. Science that China's lack of growth. Fewer U.S. exports will likely result. Less international investment and less. Profits for the businesses we invest in. But it's probably not solving the problem. Anytime soon and most likely. This will likely serve as a reminder. For which every country will have to adopt. Power to create their own. Materials at home to avoid the future scarcity is real though it seems. As the most plausible scenario is this. Both the United States and the Eurozone. The next year experienced near zero growth. With negative knockoff effects. All over the world basically this means that economy will be required. Allow to cool before proceeding at least for the foreseeable future. Probably a good idea just to cut back keep a careful budget of what you spend save as much as you can invest as usual. And stay employed because most likely. We will have to wait for them. The situation has to improve before the economy. Can continue to grow again and hopefully by then it will be in one. A win-win approach. Thank you so much for watching. Townspeople as always feel free to add me. Thank you so much for visiting Instagram and until next time.